Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 16 and 17 of March Comes In Like a Lion. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 16 in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, alright. Um, I don't know what I'm even to say. Yeah, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Mr. Straw. <laughs> we getting that Momo Focus episode? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm still, you know, we're we're waiting. On the Kyoko episode with her, you know, her old boy, old man boyfriend, like, girl. <laughs> because I want to be a fly on that well. It's so bad. Just, not only that, I just want to see a day in Kyoko's life. I mean, this chick. She still pissed me off. I like her though. Sometimes you just want to be like, <laughs> like, make some goddamn sense, girl. Like, oh my god, leave him alone. He he is not into you. Like, mm mm. <laughs> but honestly, I hope you all are doing good today on this Wednesday af evening after everything. Jesus. <laughs> I love the fact that they're all wearing glasses. They're so cute. Oh, cool. It's like that one experiment I did in no was it high school middle school yeah with the with soap and trying to like make a float. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. It was an accident. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lemon. What, like lemon pie? Is it pine salt? <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I mean, do we count that as an experiment, though? Uh, I mean, he could have just did that. Awesome. Oh my god, were you close? I mean, does he even have time to join an extra club? With everything he does. <laughs> oh, 
precious smile. Oh my god. Exactly. You can't do everything all on your own. Mm -hmm. I know. We haven't seen them in a while, haven't we? Yeah, plus to the fact is, yeah, we need to see this outcome. So, you know, vomit us. Well, wrong, wrong, wrong saying, Deja, but it's okay. Let's go. Hi, I get. And? Over already. Aww. Come on. It's him, isn't it? Fuck. No. He mm. wanted me. Wait, what? But in a Well, hold on, wait, 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 well, yeah, because it's different for sports. Because most winners can be on a fucking high. Oh. I thought the motherfucker won, like, y'all be for a moment, I was about to be like, are you fucking kidding me? But, oh. Oh. Like, okay, how? I, I want to see the play-by-play. -play. Oh, God. God, he is so out of it. Of course, that's the what enemy for you. Or really with you. You're good. 
even though I wish we would have seen it, but he did good. Excuse me. Is this going to be the part where Ray is going to tell him that he's finally ready for what happened last week? Like, I mean, not only, like, hey, to say congratulations, but also to the fact is that... Oh, could be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a feeling. <laughs> I'm glad he finally, you know, picked up that courage to ask. Hmm? What exactly are you guys doing? Oh, it's so pretty. It's simple, too, but very beautiful. Aww. Oh, that looks so good. See, I haven't eaten dinner yet. I had an apple. But see, it's already like almost 12 o'clock at night. I'm hungry. See, th this is why we shouldn't be talking about food. I'm gonna cry. 
know how we do want something quick, but she don't have anything quick. Oh my god. And I already ate out this week. I had a sandwich. Which is not the greatest sandwich, but... Mm, that's because the person fucked my order up. not here don't worry you know he's gonna he's gonna show up and then you're gonna be in love with him all over again <laughs> i'm craving like nachos or something <clears throat> that thing is way too bright on my face There we go. That's better. Sorry. Did I put... There we go. Of course she wouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah, who... Uh, okay. So it might take us like a little while, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you know, yeah, uh, an introduction from Mario. It's nice. Yeah, that is his VA. <laughs> I can't. Bruh, never stop. <laughs> I literally cannot imagine like any regular conversation about Tokyo Nikaido because I feel like these two. I 
rappers would just <laughs> argue the whole time. Oh, Jesus. I'll be okay. I think he's just still exhausted from his last match. That happens to anybody. Oh my god, please let this go! I'm gonna wait. This duck is going to come back up, right? I mean... <clears throat> I, I know. I don't know! <laughs> Lord. Oh, okay. Hold on. Instead of y'all going all the way to the bookstore and looking for a book about a duck, y'all could have, one of y'all could have dived into the water and retrieved the bird. That wasn't even the bird! Oh my god. It might be gone by now! Okay, seeing these three argue honestly was like the cutest thing. It, it, it just reminds you also when little kids have like this cute little argument. You're like, oh my god, like, you're so cute, but you want to say enough children, like oh my god. But then it's even worse, especially, you know, what can I compare this to that has happened to me in the past? Oh, I have a lot of situations about this, especially because it has to do with anime as well. When you are in a little heated debate with whether it is your friends, um, a group of friends, maybe club mates, whatever, and you're fighting over, like, what, um, what anime character can beat so who else's ass, shit like that, or what, in your opinion, is the best anime of the year, or the season, and the next, you know, so you say this, and then someone's like, no, 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 it's this, it's clearly this, because if you didn't see this, like, mm, my vote is, uh, like, hella superior to yours. Like, you would have no say. I, I mean, it, it, the things like that. It's hilarious, and I love it. But, uh, guys, sometimes you just want to be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, everybody has different opinions. Yes, we can all agree on something. But, like, even seeing these three just fuck, which is so cute. It's worse now because you got freaking, I don't know his Seiyu's name. Fridays are, are really just nuts. This dude went from the freaking antagonist to my hero to go from Joker and Fire Force to freaking na freaking Nana <laughs> and Jujutsu Kaisen and now he's in this and I'm like even though this was way before those shows came out but still like oh my god. <laughs> I would have never expected him to be in this show. And I mean, honestly, 
every singer who's on this show who I immediately recognize, it's always a breath of fresh air, and I always get super excited because, I mean, singers and how I know them so much, just as well as I know freaking celebrities and ish like that. But yeah, this was a really good episode. I love the fact that this sister finally came back in because it feels like it's been years since we've seen these three. Even though, yes, we needed those episodes to be focused on Ray and his situation and everything else was going on in the tournament. I, I still cannot believe the outcome because my money was on Goto because Goto and Ish. And the fact that, you know, when Ray came in and looked around and, you know, his eyes got big and we immediately see him and I'm looking in the background at the same time and you see someone with a camera and I'm like... This motherfucker just won. But he he's not like, you know how like when, okay, in normal sports, when someone wins are, okay, when a freaking football team wins the freaking Super Bowl. And, you know, because it's that one generic thing. It's like, okay, yeah, you won the Super Bowl. What you going to do? I'm going to go to Disney World, Disneyland, something. Um, everyone's happy. And cheerful, especially for the people who won and such. And so when I looked at him, I was like, well, yeah, you're not happy. You're not cheering. You're just making this smirk, kind of making me automatically think, and same thing with Ray, that, yeah, he possibly won. But once he went into the room to see Nakaido and his brother, and that's when I was like, oh, no, he fucking lost, and he won. But, like I said, I wish we could have gotten to see the play-by-play. -play. That would have been nice to see what moves did each do for each other and how he won in a way. But, of course, you can't have everything, but that's okay. Still, seeing, <laughs> seeing Ray at the beginning with the Prince of Burner Club, that was super cute. And him making a smell of really something, I mean, lemon and then, like, pine so like i said pine salt that's the only thing i can think of like yeah regular lemon pine salt and stuff so yeah i mean it's a nice sweet scent uh, you could probably use it as perfume i uh, will not don't use pine salt as a perfume please like it's <laughs> please don't but i mean the smell that they used to that he you know accidentally put together that smelled good yes that's probably something that you could use as a perfume and or cologne, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, this is a really sweet and adorable episode. I love the workshop. Uh, honestly, Mario, he's very interesting. I already love him. Not only for his you, but um, <laughs> his attitude <laughs> and his introduction. I mean, because like when he did like his like grumble, like, mm, I was like, okay, so I'm sitting here and I'm like, your voice sounds familiar to me. And I'm like, I don't know who you are. And I was like, I know, I, I recognized it, but I couldn't think of his name because I don't remember his name. And I was like, oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, he's really sweet. And honestly, I cannot wait to see more on him. But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 17. Okay, episode 17 in three, two, one, go. Maybe I'll go buy a new mic tomorrow. Not a mic. Mouse. That's what I'm talking about. I want that or I'll order one online. I don't know. Even though I still need to pay my Amazon bill. <laughs> I want ice cream. Oh my god. I'm just, once again, I am still hungry. Nothing has happened. It hasn't passed anything. I am still hungry. I haven't eaten yet. Like I said, last thing I ate was an apple. And that was like two hours ago. So, yeah, between nine, ten o'clock. Yeah, so. Because, you know, your girl has to get better because she's currently sick. And she's trying to get better. And slowly but surely. But, yeah. Because, I mean, COVID ain't kicking my butt, but I can still smell. I can still taste. I barely really have a cough and stuff. It's almost like just regular old cold systems now and such. But uh, my mom's okay now to be cleared. 
but I still have to wait at least six more days. Uh, basically, almost another week, because this Saturday will make um, a week for me. It should be. Okay, good. So everyone who's everyone is also here as well. Is Goto here? Yes, sure. <laughs> Honestly, I think Nikaido is. Mm. Even though he can be silly at times, I think he's very mature and bright for his age. Excuse me. Because mm -hmm. he seems like a completely different person when he walks away from you. Okay. Well, yeah, because... <laughs> Well, um, your daughter, sir, yeah, I don't even think she does herself. You're right.
I mean, she'll hate you, but... I don't know. You can still not say anything, but... Kind of be supportive of Kyoko? I mean... Uh, you know what? Let me talk. Um, how the fuck can you be supportive of for her? Wanting to be in a relationship? Well, cause see, okay, thank God it's not like a you know misers type thing, but still, He just came in out of nowhere. Well, damn. <clears throat> you know, I gotta say, the way he was just looking up now, he looks like, um, oh my god. Uh, oh, no, not Odenoki. Um, oh my god, what the freak was her name in Monogatari? Um, Agaragi Queen's other half. That's who I'm thinking of. I mean, he, he's really creepy. I mean, ugh. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, Kyoko. Okay, 
Oh, damn it. But come on. Y Y'all dad is smart enough and he put... Oh, shit. Mama? Something like that, Momo. <clears throat> Unlike you, I'm just saying. Because you want to defend them. Yeah. I'll see because you're worried about him. Oh. You know. It's so precious. No, oh, damn it. <laughs> Good job, Hina. <laughs> Freaking throat. <laughs> Are you seriously going to eat all of it? Well, I mean, since your dad, you know, turned her, fucked her credit card up, I mean, where is she gonna go? Good. Yeah, yet she's still eating it. Mm. 
Well, of course, that always happens after someone eats. I mean, yeah, exactly. Go home, talk to him. Okay. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't think he would have a problem if you stay at Rays, but, you know, if you go to Goto's, I mean, mmm. Exactly. Just go home and talk to him. Dude, you can't bring that old man to the house. Why? You have to know! Kyoko, honey. Uh -huh. <laughs> really? <laughs> I 
I would just love to see these two argue, like, all the time. <laughs> I would love so much. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you'll be like 19 when you graduate? This was a good, that was a really good episode. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about Kyoko real quick. All right. <clears throat> now that her father's technically, not even technically, has cut her off, where the hell is she going to stay? She, Kyoko kind of reminds me, mm, she reminds me a little bit of myself and how, with certain situations, of what she would do and how she thinks not not the the fact that she is dating an old man because um i, I don't think i could do that unless you know <laughs> Eliza was like some, <laughs> some sugar daddy is but we're not gonna get into that it, it's really more of where the hell is she gonna live where is she gonna go she's kind of scra scraping by and she's not really worried you can see it all over her face that she's not worried and she's like she doesn't mind um necessarily like what could possibly happen to her because she could be homeless she could do anything else her parents could immediately like cut her off kick her out of the house and everything i mean she goes anywhere without no problem and such but the relationship that she has with her father isn't the greatest and we've seen that in past episodes so i'm praying to the gods that this girl has a better relationship with her father if not now because of course that's not gonna happen hopefully in the future maybe i don't know i, I just it, it's here's hoping that's all i can say i mean <laughs> One more thing I have to say about this episode as well. Having the sisters finally meet her. Because I think that's something that I've wanted ever since we've met Kyoko. And having her introduction and such. You know, I, I kind of love the fact of having characters meet other characters. And seeing them interact and getting the first impressions and ish and like that. I, I love. <laughs> love the way. Um. Hina acted because of the fact is yes it, it it's kind of, it, it's obvious that Hina has a crush on Ray and she wants to be very she's very protective over him and such but even though like right now it's it's like you know because this always happened to me and such and my mom's always like yeah no you have a crush on him I'm like no I don't like mm. fifty out of fifty would be true and stuff like that and everything but she. She, like I said, she's protective of him. She wants to protect him at all costs. And, you know, and no matter what, like, if it's someone who <laughs> is just saying something bad to hurt Ray's feelings or just whatever, you know, he not going to be that one to come up and be like, Hold on, no, 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 no. I didn't, mm, no. Be like, let me tell you something. Like, mm. Because <laughs> I thought she was going to tell her off for a moment. I was like, oh, my God. Like, mm, she really about to do something. But she gave him the food, and then she walked off and said everything that she needed to say while she was walking off. But I get it, because of course, you know, hey, maybe she's not that brave enough, but maybe one day she will. And honestly, that will be like the best day ever. But, I, I mean, it, it was nice. It was <laughs> even Momo coming in at the time she did, because, oh my god, like, 
Kyoko, like, just some of the things you say. I, uh, there are some things that Kyoko says that I, I, I immediately will agree with. And there are some things that I, I'm like, not nah, girl. Like, I can't agree with you on that. Because especially before the, whatever, the stuff that she said before Momo came in. I, I'm a little, I'm a little biased on that right now. But yeah. I, I just, I want what's best for her. I want her to have a better relationship with her dad. I want her to have a better relationship with Ray. Um, especially, you know, if also if she continues this relationship with Goto and such. Um, because of the fact is her dad cast her away. Same thing with her younger brother. And put all the shogi and everything on Ray. She is lashing out by dating his disciple which I, i'm i'm like no like <laughs> there's so many other ways to do that but i mean she chose it and it's her decision at the end of the day everything that she's doing there's consequences for it but i'm just hoping that one day and maybe this day might come soon i mean because we're all, we're technically almost done with season one we're very close to um episode 20 and then after that i got like less than five episodes left um so if it doesn't happen in season one i'm well this is still season one no matter what for the two cure the second cure of the series if it doesn't happen in the first half of the series my bet is it has to happen in the second half i just i need a moment where her and her dad talk face to face not phone to phone and it's like that i need them to both talk i need it like you know how it's better to see someone's emo facial expressions and emotions like right then and there instead of on the phone because you you can't tell um even while you're texting you can't tell how someone feels and such and so I i'm like that's why it's kind of better to talk face to face or i mean look at us now you know talking through a webcam you know facetime um I can say it because this thing is off. Drop in or Skype anything to talk like that. That's how you're able to see someone's facial features and stuff. But because of the fact is it's on the phone, you are only really hearing their voice. Yes, you can hear when someone gets angry or upset, crying, whatever. But it's not the same when you see that person's facial expression going from like happy to like sad or whatever. I just, I need them to just talk it out. Maybe have a good cry or something. I don't know. Ray can be there as a witness. Just, you know, be there. Maybe. I don't know. I, that's really something that's up to him at the end of the day. But we're honestly not going to know until we possibly get an episode on it. If we don't, that's fine. I mean, who knows? That's all I can really say. But... Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 16 and 17 of March Comes In Like a Lion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 18 and 19. Bye, guys.